missing since Thursday night when Liverpool won the Premier League title, but we finally tracked him down. Gary Neville is at the Amex. Sky Sports' very own Jason Bourne has been found. And doesn't he look delighted about it? Joining us now from the Amex, it is Gary Neville himself. How's it been since Thursday, Gary? Not particularly great. I mean... <laughs> I have to watch that advert a few times to realise how many of you lot actually work in this company. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so listen, we've, we've got a bit of time. You can tell us all about your, your thoughts on Liverpool's title win. Um, look, I mean, it's an incredible achievement to win any title. It's been coming for a couple of years, been knocking on the door last season, obviously, with what Manchester City did. Um, they had to be at their absolute best. Jurgen Klopp, the job he's done has been fantastic. I, I thought when he came to Liverpool four years ago that it would be almost impossible for him to deliver a title with the spending power of City, United, Chelsea. Um, I thought it would be so difficult. He's turned £30 million players into £130 million players. He's turned £75 million players into £150 million players. And those other clubs have invested £130 million and sort of made them into £30 million. The recruitment's been brilliant. The coaching's been brilliant. And it all comes from the manager. And the players obviously then fall, fall into line. And a great achievement. Something that particularly I don't like. Um, it's a day that I never wanted to see again. I'd seen enough of it in my uh, childhood years. And... Uh, I've had to witness it again in the last few weeks, but you obviously have to congratulate the title winners. It's been a brilliant performance. One of the things that's almost got lost in the, in the aftermath of that win for Chelsea is the significance of that for them and the significance of that for Manchester United and the teams that are chasing down fourth place, potentially fifth, but they, they want to make sure by finishing in the top four. Yeah, absolutely. It's a massive fight going on for, the, for those Champions League spaces. Uh, it was a bad result for Manchester United in more ways than one the other night when Chelsea did what they did. Um, and tonight it's a must-win game. They have to keep the pressure on. United are in a good place in the sense that you know, they treated lockdown well, they handled the coronavirus period well, and they've come out of it in a good mood. I think similarly you could say the same about Brighton. The clubs who really sort of looked at coronavirus in a sort of the right way and dealt with it the right way have, have come out of it the right way, and other clubs haven't. So it should be a really good game here tonight, but one Manchester United must win, but Brighton are in a similar position.